Well, today, loved ones said goodbye to sailors aboard USS George Washington. It is now on its way to a new home port in Yokosuka, Japan. The George Washington will swap places with USS Ronald Reagan, and this is the ship's first forward deployment since it came to the Newport News shipyard back in 2015. Tonight on your side's Ashley Knight joins us live from Naval Station Norfolk with more on the importance of this move. Ashley. Well, it was an exciting day for the USS George Washington. Many of the crew members on board have never been deployed before. That's about 3,000 people on board this aircraft carrier. It was an extremely windy and cold day on the pier this morning. Some family members did come out to say goodbye at Naval Station Norfolk, but most families were over at Fort Monroe to see their loved ones off. Everyone we spoke with is excited to get underway. They'll take a southern route around South America America, stopping in Brazil and a few other places. They'll head up the West Coast, stopping in San Diego for a bit before moving on to Japan. We talked with Commanding Master Chief Randy Swanson, who says it's been a long road getting to this point. We just came out of six year RCOH, which is a reactor compartment overhaul, shipyard availability. A lot of our crew, no sea time, a lot of hard work. And in the last year, we've accomplished some amazing things of getting our warship ready to be forward deployed. Uh, a lot of hard work. Uh, we've had like 14 underways in the past past year, getting preps with inspections and certifications. And now here we are today, in the morning of us leaving to go to Southern Seas and be a part of something amazing. The USS George Washington is set to arrive in Japan sometime later this fall, like around October or November. Live at Norfolk Naval Station, Norfolk, Ashley Knight, 10 on your side.